Good evening. I'm Dwight McBride, president of the New School, and I want to welcome you and thank you for joining us tonight for this very special event called Monin and Jazzin Our Way to Hallelujah Day, a celebration of the Black experience in America, the struggles and triumphs. Tonight's program is the closing event in the New School's Black History Month celebration. It honors the rich connections between the New School, Black history, and the traditions of jazz and gospel music. You'll hear from the New School faculty members, alumni, and some very special guests this evening. It's been said that there is no music that speaks more to the Black American experience than jazz. And the recording artist Liz Wright reminds us that singing in church is a very different approach to music. It's very much about transcending the idea of self. It's about finding something greater that connects all of us. Gospel music is about tapping into that. So when I think about my own love for jazz and gospel, I think of its origins in the stories cultures and struggles of black people throughout American history. Jazz and gospel both encapsulate not only those struggles that have been a central part of our experience, but also our insistence on freedom that shapes the character and the identity of our nation. But more than anything, this music to me is a music of hope and a music of love. Through improvisation and ad lib, through a blues sensibility, through collaboration, and through the lyrics and the melodies, we are all invited in to participate, to be a part of the music, to be a part of working together to imagine and to hope for a better tomorrow. For organizing tonight's event, I especially wanna thank the New School faculty members, Charlotte Small Chestnut, along with the great pianist and composer, Cyrus Chestnut. It is also my pleasure to welcome two very special guests who are joining us this evening. Reverend Rashawn Raymond Moore, pastor of the First Baptist Church of Crown Heights in Brooklyn, and Dr. Calvin O. Butts III, pastor of the Abyssinian Baptist Church in Harlem. And to all of the artists performing tonight, thank you, bravo, and amen.
southern trees bearing strange
The center of every community is the poetry of its people. Think of any group, anywhere in time, at any place in the world, and you will find at the center of every culture is poetry. It is in the melodies of music that we find the soundtrack of life. Whether you are a jazz aficionado or a hip hop head, maybe you like spirituals or maybe you like classical, whatever the genre, it is music that takes us through life. Music has the power to shift our attention from pain to joy, from anger to hope. Where would we be as a people of African descent had it not been for our music? What would America be without our music? I would submit to you that we would not have survived for 400 years in the United States had it not been for our music. It was W.E.B. Du Bois who says, our subtle sense of song has given America its only true music. We have given America its only true music, but that music Music has emerged out of the pain and out of the struggles of trying to hold on to the plow in the wilderness of America. Music has been the strength and the source of our hope. It is the spirituals, the Negro spirituals, that gives hope to keep our hand on the plow and to hold on. It is still the sounds of earth, wind, and fire that makes us all, regardless of age, of regardless of class or creed or orientation, it breaks past all barriers and brings us together. The sounds of earth, wind, and fire have taught us to do what Alice Walker says, to learn how to dance in the midst of furious times. It is also in the blues that we have learned how to express our deepest anguish and pain in the midst of existential suffering, the rhythm and the blues. It is through our hip hop that we, minus the capitalism, it is through our hip hop that we speak truth to power when power is not doing right by the people. Fight the power that be. It is the spirit in our music that keeps us together. I have seen families that have been divided, families with contentious relationships come together on the dance floor and melt all of their anger together as they dance to Frankie, Beverly, and Mays before I let go. Music is a powerful instrument for social change. It is a powerful instrument for social transformation. Music has given us a song to sing. It gives us a reason to look to the hills from whence cometh our help. It gives us a reason to put clapping back in our hands and dancing in our feet and a new song in our heart. And no other music genre has been more powerful than the lament. Oh, the laments may be powerful. They may be bitter. They may be dark. They may be depressing. But it's through the songs of lament that we're able to melt away some of the anger that's in our hearts to make sure that our anger does not consume us. So today we hear songs such as, sometimes I feel like a motherless child. We hear spirituals like, I think I heard them say, take my mother home. Or we even hear that gruesome, deep lament. Southern trees bear strange fruit, blood at the leaves and blood at the root. Black body swinging in the southern breeze, strange fruit hanging from the poplar trees. These are all laments that come up out of the spirit of the psalmist who says, how 
Can we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? These songs come up out of the tradition of many spirituals, like that 22nd Psalm that says, Lord, why has thou forsaken me? And in those moments when we have learned how to be honest about our pain, when we have learned how to be honest about our heartbreak, when we have learned how to be honest with the divine about questions of theodicy, it has left us empowered. It has brought us closer to God, but it has also left us living a little bit healthier than before because the body can't consume but so much. So in those moments when we don't know what else to do or what else to say, we lift up a song because it's the song that expresses the heartache of our pain, but it also gives us a reason to hope. God of our weary years, God of our silent tears, thou who has brought us thus far along the way, thou who has by thy might led us into that light, keep us forever in thy path, we pray. Lest our feet stray from the places where our God, where we met thee, lest our hearts become drunk with the wine of the world, we forget thee. Shadowed beneath thy hand, in spite of all that we've been through, may we forever stand. How can you stand in such a land? It is because we've learned how to lift our voice and sing until earth and heaven ring, until the lion lays down with the lamb, until the valley is exalted and the hill is made low, until the rough places are made straight, until we are all able as God's children, black, white, Jew, Gentile, straight, gay, trans, non-binary, until we all learn how to sing together, we will never make it. But the best thing to do to bring us together is nothing more than a song. Let us go from this place and let us learn how to sing our song until earth and heaven ring.
be done with the trouble of the world with the trouble of the world with the trouble of the world soon I will be done with the trouble of the world I'm going home to live with God. Oh, soon I will be done with the trouble of the world. With the trouble of the world. Oh, with the trouble of the world. Lord,
Shall not be.
A reading by Langston Hughes. Let America be America again. Let America be America again. Let it be the dream it used to be. Let it be the pioneer on the plain is seeking a home where he himself is free. <laughs> America was never America to me. <laughs> Let America be the dream the dreamers dreamed. Let it be that great strong land of love where never kings connive nor tyrants scheme that any man be crushed by one above. <laughs> it was never America to me. Oh, let my land be a land where liberty is crowned with no false patriotic wreath, but opportunity is real and life is free. Equality is in the air we breathe. There's never, there's never been any, any equality for me, <laughs> nor freedom in this homeland of the free. <laughs> and who are you that draws your veil across the stars? <laughs> I am the poor white, fooled and pushed apart. I am the Negro bearing slavery's scars. I am the red man driven from the land. I am the immigrant clutching the hope I seek and finding only the same old stupid plan of dog eat dog, of mighty crush the weak. I am the young man full of strength and hope Tangled in that ancient, endless chain of profit, power, gain, of grab the land, of grab the gold, of grab the ways of satisfying need, of work the men, of take the pay, of owning everything for one's own greed. I am the farmer bondsman to the soil. I am the worker sold to the machine. I am the Negro servant to you all. I am the people humble, hungry, mean, hungry yet today, despite the green, the dream. Beaten yet today, oh pioneers, I am the man who never got ahead. The poorest worker bartered through the years, yet I'm the one who dreamt our basic dream in the old world while still a serf of kings. Who dreamt the dream so strong, so brave, so true, that even yet its mighty daring sings in every brick and stone and every furrow turn that's made America the land it has become. Oh, I'm the man who sailed those early seas in search of what I meant to be my home, for I'm the one who left Dark's Ireland's shore and Poland's plain and England's, England's grassy lay and torn from Black Africa's strand I came to build a homeland of the free. The free? Who said the free? Not me. Surely not me. The millions on relief today? The millions shot down when we strike? The millions who have nothing for our pay? For all the dreams we've dreamed and all the songs we've sung and all the hopes we've held and all the flags we've hung. The millions who have nothing for our pay 
Except a dream that's almost dead today. Oh, let America be America again. The land that never has been yet. And yet must be the land where every man is free. The land that's mine, the poor man's, Indians, Negroes, me, who made America, whose sweat and blood, whose faith and pain, whose hand at the foundry, whose plow in the rain, must bring back our mighty dream again. Sure, <laughs> call me any name you choose. The steel of freedom does not stain. For those who live like leeches on the people's lives, we must take back our land again, America. Oh, yes, I say it plain. America was never America to me. And yet I swear this oath, America will be. Out of the rack and ruin of our gangster death, the rape and rot of graft, and stealth and lies, we, the people, must redeem. The land, the mines, the plants, the rivers, the mountains, and the endless plain, all, all the stretch of these great green states and make America again. Just like a tree that 
Stony the road we trod, bitter the chastening rod, fell to the days when hope unborn had died. Yet, with a steady beat, have not our weary feet come to the place for which our mothers and fathers sighed. We have come over a way that with tears has been watered. We have come treading our path through the blood of the slaughter. Out from the gloomy past, till now we stand at last where the white gleam of our bright star is cast. Dear beloved, we can recount all of the marvelous contributions we have made to American civilization. In fact, without us, without the presence of people of African descent, there would be no United States of America. We've saved this nation so many times. As Stevie Wonder would say, the first man to die for the flag that we hold high was a black man. We have presented ourselves when 200,000 of us entered into the war to save the Union. And without those 200,000 sons and daughters of Ethiopia, we would not have the United States of America. World War I, the Harlem Hellfighters battled on foreign soil to make the world safe for democracy. In fact, the Hellfighters didn't have to fight. Jim uh, 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 Thorpe would strike up the band and the enemy would run because they knew that the Hellfighters were coming. World War II, Dory Miller, we demonstrated our ability to fight for America. The soul of our nation was redeemed by a prophet, Martin Luther King Jr and by a man who uh, energized the urban centers of our land, Malcolm X. Beloved, we have so much to celebrate. The marvelous and tremendous voices of Leontine Price and uh, Marian Anderson, the activism of a woman like Ella Baker, the tremendous political contributions of a Adam Clayton Powell Jr. or Shirley Chisholm so many things that we've contributed, so many battles that we have fought uh, to make this the land of the free and the home of the brave. Yet with a steady beat, have not our weary feet come to the place for which our fathers sighed. So the struggle continues, beloved, with the horrible sight that we saw happen at our nation's capital, with the continued destruction of black bodies in the streets of our nation, George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and so many more. We know that we have not yet come to the place for which our mothers and fathers sigh. But as Adam Powell would remind us, keep the faith, hold to God's unchanging hand. We will overcome even more until this truly becomes a place where justice will roll down like waters and righteousness like an ever flowing stream. We celebrate our history not just as African people, but we celebrate our history as contributors to world civilization. And we will continue to do that because we will keep the faith. Thank you for listening. God bless you.